Alright, Blagoy Ivanov versus my cross Ruggiero de Lima. I am going to be picking Blagoy Ivanov. I've been picking him the whole time, and I do think that he's going to get the, the job done here. I think he's going to win by a decision. 2008 World Combo uh, Sambo Champion, which is the which is the outside of MMA experience I was talking about in my early breakdown. I knew that Blagoy Ivanov had that kind of in his pocket. I didn't know what it was, but now I know it's 2008 World Combo Sambo Champion. I think even in that year, he beat uh, Fedor Emelianenko in Sambo, I believe. I got that... My source for that is Fight Night Picks on YouTube, so blame them if that's not correct, but I do I do trust them as a source, so we'll go with that. Blagoy Ivanov, I feel like he's probably going to win this fight uh, by a decision. I feel like Marcos Ruggiero de Lima's only real chance to win this fight is probably by a knockout, because, um, yeah, he did win over Maurice Green by decision, but that was probably one of the most boring fights I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. And then he did knock out Ben Rothwell in the first round, which is pretty crazy. Um, he knocked out Ben Sassoli, which I guess isn't the worst win to have on your record, but he didn't look too bad even against Alexander Romanov before getting submitted by him, and he got submitted by Stefan Struve as well. So two submission losses in the last five fights to Marcos Ruggiero de Lima. Potentially, we could see Blagoy Ivanov lock something up, but he hasn't got the finish in a very long time. The thing with Blagoy Ivanov is he's been um, able to kind of prove that he can hang with the top of the division. Marcos Ruggiero de Lima... Uh, on the other hand, it kind of hasn't. Like, he has had the Alexander Romanov test about a year and a half ago. Stefan Struve three years ago when Stefan Struve was kind of still up and doing it. But, um, yeah, split decision loss to Augusto Sakai. Um, doesn't look uh, as good as it did previously, but the split decision loss to Derek Lewis, that ain't too bad on your record. He did lose to Junior Dos Santos. I believe that was actually a five-round fight as well. I think that actually headlines that fight night. Am I correct? Yes, it is. So he's got that five rounds experience as well. He beat Ben Rothwell by decision. Marcos Ruggiero did, did finish him. But the last time we got a finish on the handles of Blagoy Ivanov was a knockout over Sean Jordan in 2017. And uh, the last time we got a submission was in 2015. So potentially, I think we could see a submission on the on the side of uh, Blagoy Ivanov. We could maybe see a finish here, but I do think that the fight goes the distance. Even Blagoy Ivanov is a 35-year-old as the younger fighter in this fight as well, which is pretty crazy. Even off by decision is my pick. I feel like Ruggiero de Lima, if he is going to win this fight, it's definitely going to have to be a finish, and I feel like it's going to probably be a finish on the feet. But Blagoy Ivanov has shown that he's got a good chin. He's hung in there with good guys. He's hung in there with uh, Ben Rothwell. He's hung in there with Taito Ivasa, Derek Lewis, and Augusto Sakai. And J to JDS over the course of five um, rounds, which was about four years ago as well. So that was when JDS, I think, was still kind of on the up. Um, well, before he um, went on that little decline, then unfortunately Junior Santos has found himself on the odds for this fight. We've got Blagoy even off minus one fifty five. The over is set at minus one twenty. I like the over at minus 120 because I do see Blagoy Ivanov taking Marcos Ruggiero de Lima to the ground and then winning that. But I feel like the way that would lose is maybe we can see like a ground and pound Ivanov TKO. Marcos Ruggiero de Lima finding the KO blow in the, in the first or the second round. I think over two and a half at minus 120 ain't too bad. You know what I mean? Like, I think Blagoy Ivanov should win this fight here. He's about a minus 150 favorite or so. I think that's probably a pretty good line for him. Um, wouldn't really be like throwing him in as like an anchor of a parlay but if you've got like a if you only want to use a two-legger I feel like Blagoy Ivanov potentially could be part of a two-league parlay like a double or something like that um, to get plus money on, on Blagoy